Volcanic sweet pea. What's your favorite color? I will research that later and fix it myself. But cool it. Well, let me know so I can film it. I'm serious, I'm not gonna. I believe you. All right, that's an issue for another day. We're doing some work in our girl's room once again. Um, and it's our youngest, so she's got all the hand-me-downs. She doesn't want to get rid of anything. We're gonna make some storage so that um, her room looks a little bit more organized. Besides that, Sleepy, Sleepy now wants to put a skylight in that room. Where there's a will, there's a way, we'll see. But right now, we're doing something simple. We're just building a little, um, basically a storage bench. It's gonna be similar to the table that we built in our entryway, just a shrunken down version so that she can have optimal storage beneath. Here's what we're working with, minus this. This is for something else in our house. Good. Then I want the legs to sit five inches below. I'm kind of taking the back seat on this one. Sitting in the back of the van, watching Sweepy assemble this thing. I'm sure she'll find something else for me to do really soon. Wearing goggles or sunglasses. Sorry. Are you? Did it make it? Yeah. Oh. What's left? The legs. The legs. It's done. I stood in front of that for a second. What do you think? I like it. Grab a side. Or just, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Independent woman coming through. Hey, Sparrow. Look. It's a mini me to that one. You dig it? Uh-huh. I like it. No, we won't. You need a napping spot. Since you have other places to sit, this could also be a spot that you get things off the floor with. So, not necessarily a bench for sitting all the time, but... But sometimes no, nobody can get on you. I love it. So these fit here. Can they match your shirt? So, pretty bench. Being in this room has just brought our attention on the fact that this is like the last space in our house that we come into that just feels dark, feels incomplete. And putting a little bench on the ground for organization didn't really fix that. Sweepy always says if you don't enjoy the space that you're in or don't love the space that you're in, then do something about it, change it. How do you bring more natural light into a dark room? You gotta open something up. So it either comes down to putting a window in this wall or a skylight in the ceiling. Skylight. Everyone's voting for skylight right now. The sun is coming up on this side of the house and it's setting on this side of the house. So that window, that wall, the north, side of our house doesn't get sunlight 
it would let in light, but it wouldn't be like direct light. So if we put in a skylight, like we did in Rio's room. On the camera, with my settings the way they are now, this is what Rio's room looks like. So like for me to expose this properly, it's right, right there, right? And then I look in Sparrow's room, dark. So what are we doing today? Putting in a skylight, I think. Are we gonna wear our pajamas all day? We're gonna put a two by two skylight in, just like the one that we have in Rio's room. We've done this before, but this time I have to cut into my shingles. No, it's gray and white. Did we not do that before? No, we installed it. Someone else has cut into our shingles. Twice. Professionals. And there's solar panels up there. Professionals. Dude, what do you think I am? <laughs> You're gonna cut it? I'll cut yeah, it. So Why? we have two hours, that's what I said. Yeah, right. Let's actually see how long it takes. It's gonna, time. okay, you say two hours, I say seven hours from now. No. We always estimate a certain amount of time and think we can get it done quickly. She says two hours from now or from when we start? Oh gosh, yeah, I'm gonna time us on the time that we're not working. Okay, so two hours from when we start, right? Does that include measuring? From the, from the time that we cut. Okay. That first cut. I I hope with everything that that's true. Yeah. Watch However, it. I don't believe it. I say we're closer to closer to five and a half hours. No, I think. Yeah. So we're at Lowe's. Oh gosh. I got it. Skylight that we were gonna get is right here, but then Sweepy saw something else, which I mean. No surprise there. Honestly, I'm relieved. This is a solar tube. It's a sun tunnel skylight, basically. And if we get this, we don't have to do any drywall. We don't have to replace the shingles. So it's a bit more expensive than the skylight, but we're saving because we don't have to buy as much things. So we have one of these in our hallway. We had it installed professionally and I watched it be done. So this time I'm gonna try to do it myself. All right. <laughs> I have peanut butter crackers in my teeth. So we've got this spot marked in the ceiling where we're gonna put our solar tube. It shouldn't take as long as the skylight, so we're gonna get closer to Sweepy's two hour mark. We've got the ceiling marked, now we need to mark the roof where we wanna cut through and go for it. Up into the attic we go. Is this the way you're supposed to do it? Yeah, it's a plumb string. All right. Uh, we marked the ceiling down below me. Attach the string to the ceiling. You got your weight down here. Once it stops moving, it gives you a straight line so you can drill your hole in the roof so your solar tube doesn't go in crooked. All right. I thought you were joking. No, my foot got stuck. <laughs> Oops. Perfect. <laughs> it looks perfect. I don't think this will protect my eyes very well. Yeah, better than nothing. Using kids' glasses for goggles? Why not? Uh, point of no return. We're gonna cut into the ceiling now. Look how stylish I look. Oh. Yeah. To the roof. To the roof. Okay. Here's this. We've got our handy dandy instruction manual, which I learned that you follow accordingly, or you'll have to redo something that you didn't think you were gonna have to do. So right now we're up here. Chad's gonna cut the hole. The hole. Into the roof, and I'm just prepping this tube to go inside of that hole. Found our screw, now we're gonna drill our hole. It's always fun putting holes in your roof. The last homeowners, instead of stripping the shingles off and redoing the roof, um, did a third layer of shingles. So we have three, No. we have three full layers of shingles on our roof. I'm just trying to get the pry bar between one layer. Oh. 
making it official. Alright, we gotta cover the nails. But it's done. Yep. Cute hair. You can see that we're in the sun. This is on like low on the roof line. So it's 430 and this solar tube is not getting light anymore. All that to say we'll have to check it in the morning and see how it looks. I think we did a pretty good job though. Back in the bedroom first thing in the morning. First thoughts, first thing. There's definitely light in here. It looks uh, it looks a lot better. What do you think, Sparrow? I love it. She loves it? There's actual daylight coming into her room and that, that was the ultimate goal. Well, it is very bright. Like at this time of day, mm -hmm. this room is the darkest. There's light spilling under her bed, onto the back wall, into her closet. Look at the light spilling out. We got our tube in, we got our organized bench, and we've got a clean rug. Sweepy guessed it would take two hours. I guessed it would take five or whatever. I don't remember what I said. It took us three hours, which for a couple of noobs is not bad, I'm sure. And now look at the space. It's perfect. It's a lot better. I said solar tubes in the bathroom. Natural light would be great in there. Oh no. I mean, you're right. 